This video is about how you can export your images in Photoshop without uh, having a color change in your images. And this tutorial is about how you can export your images in Photoshop without having a change in the colors. Recently, I had an issue with uh, changing of the colors after saving my images in Photoshop. And usually all my raw images, I had to first of all uh, save my images in Photoshop, then run back to Adobe Lightroom and first of all import and export them so that they don't change color when I put them on another device or my phone or when I post them on Instagram and before I can go ahead this image was taken by Paxi's concept photography I'm going to put his Instagram link down in the description so if at all you don't want your images to uh, change color when you uh, maybe put them on another device or when you deliver them to uh, a client uh, make sure you watch this tutorial up to the end so uh, just come after editing your image just come right to file don't come to save as and let me first show you when you come right here to save as it will it will show you uh, very many options and if at all you don't intend to edit your image again later on in Photoshop um, I wouldn't advise you to uh, use these options right here but if at all you want to uh, come back to the project and edit your photos once again you can opt for these uh, options you can go in for these options and yeah the PDP and you have the teeth and everything so you can come back and use these options if at all you want to come back to edit your images so I wouldn't advise you to use save as uh, when you are exporting your images after retouching so that is out so we are going to cancel this so just come back to file and just come to export so when you come to export uh, don't come to save for web legacy I think this is maybe I should call it an old-fashioned way and don't come to export as quick export as png just come to export as so when you come to export as it will take a little while to load i don't know why my machine is uh, kind of slow but we shall be patient for those little few seconds so here we are right now so when you come to export as uh, the image is going to process and as you can see we have these options right here we have the format uh, you have the image size and you have the canvas size so we have quite quite many options uh, right here and you can even change your size right here so we are waiting for our image uh, to finish uh, the processing so this is where you are so you can come right down here and save different sizes for your image as you can see you can have a uh, different sizes saved at once and you can export all of them at once the option you don't have when you are saving your image when you say when you're using the option of save as in photoshop so this is the other advantage and now the other advantage is right here you can save it as a quick png yeah you can save it as a png or a jpeg so uh when you come to the quality uh, you can easily change uh, the quality of the image and you know when you change the quality it will be uh, the size will automatically be reduced right here so if at all you have a big number of photos you want to maybe send to someone you can opt for this option so uh, I'll go straight ahead to uh, the reason for this tutorial uh, just come <coughs> For these settings, I already explained them, image size and everything. But uh, this tutorial is about how you can export your images without losing or without having a color change uh, after maybe uploading them to social media or to your Instagram or putting them on another device. So just come right down here. And when you have this convert to as uh, convert to sRGB. Uh, your images will be 
uh, will be won't change color at all and uh, usually what i would advise is for all your images you have to embed a color profile so when you check these two uh, even if uh, you have been given uh, images to retouch by someone else when you uh, embed the color profile it will retain all the original colors all the colors you applied when you're kind of retouching the image and yeah it will combine all the colors at once so after you have uh, checked these two uh, you can export so when you export the image just come and look for where you would like to save the image so and you can go ahead and maybe rename it as maybe i can put something like color for this image so when you click save uh, your image will automatically be saved so this tutorial has, has been about how you can export your images without having them to maybe change color after you have exported them and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to hit a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you haven't subscribed to this channel i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching see you in yet another retouching tutorial